whether it's concrete or metal in your way, this petrol cut-off saw is what you need to remove it. And you can hire them from Speedy, the UK's number one hire company. A couple of good things to remember when hiring from Speedy, all our hire equipment is checked, tested, cleaned and serviced before every hire and will all come ready to go. You'll also notice a folder attached to your hire product. These are the safety and operating instructions. Please make sure you read these before you begin your job. Before you use this machine, it's vitally important that you are wearing the correct PPE. Gloves, goggles, dust mask, safety boots and hearing protection are essential and any PPE you do require can be purchased from Speedy. When you receive your petrol cut-off saw, the first thing you will need to do is fit your cutting disc. There are a few different types of discs that you can get for your cut-off saw. Discs for cutting stone, masonry and metal. If you're unsure about the disc you need, just speak to Speedy, as we are happy to help and advise you on anything you require. Alternatively, any discs you do require can be purchased from Speedy. To attach your cutting disc, you'll need to remove the locking nut. This can be done by using some form of locking pin to stop the flange from spinning. And then take the spanner provided and unscrew and remove the flange. Then place the blade over the diameter of the shaft, ensuring that the metal rim is facing inwards. You then need to tighten the flange back on, clamping the cutting disc in place, making sure it's tight. Some discs will have a directional arrow. It's important to make sure the arrow on the disc matches up with the arrow on the saw. A cool feature on this cut-off saw is the ability to connect a garden hose or a pressurised water bottle which you can hire from Speedy. This allows water to be forced into the disc to help suppress dust as well as keeping the blade cool. This petrol cut-off saw requires two-stroke petrol. When you get your saw from Speedy we'll provide you with this small bottle of oil and all you need to do is add this oil to the petrol and give it a shake. If you're unsure on what ratio to use, check the instructions on the bottle. Once you have your two-stroke mix, filling up the cut-off saw is really easy. Just unscrew the fuel cap here and fill it up. If you require any more two-stroke oil, you can purchase this from Speedy. Once you've filled up the cut-off saw, you are ready to begin the starting procedure. To begin with, you'll need to place your hand on the handle, clamping down the safety switch and squeezing the trigger. This will allow you to release the switch on the top of the cut-off saw, moving it towards you in the starting position. Now we need to activate the choke. To do this, we need to move the switch below the handle into the furthest position away from you and begin to prime the engine by pressing this small pump five times. Now we're ready to fire up the cut-off saw. Place the back of the saw between your feet, using your legs to hold the saw in place, then place your hand on the handlebar and take a firm grip. Finally, take the pull cord in your other hand and give it a pull. Don't worry if this takes a couple of pulls, that's completely normal. Once your engine is running, just give it a few seconds to warm up and then turn the choke off. If you have any issues with any of the products you hire from Speedy, just give your local service centre a call as we are always available to help and remember to always check the safety and operating guidance before you use any hire product.